Jumpy jump jump jump. I swear, me amigo, it's the thrill ride to end all thrill rides. Word is, your hair will uncurling and puke your guts out. Wow, cool. Gee, Spellman has that same effect on me. <laughs> <laughs> Purpose, somehow. Moi? But I'm way over here. Oh, this darn locker's stuck again. <laughs> when mine sticks, I call my personal locksmith. Oh, that's right. You don't have one. Some of us think it's better to use our brains. <laughs> oh, that's right. You don't have one. <sighs> Okay, okay. You win today's put-down round. Whew, I sure wish you and Jim would try a little harder to get along. Not gonna happen, Chloe. We're just too different. She's nasty, spoiled, and rich. I'm sweet, charming, and a witch. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Hey, nobody's perfect. So what about this new thrill ride at Wowie World? Maybe we ought to check it out. I already am. Tomorrow after school with Pi. Hey, maybe you should ask Harvey. We can all go together. Now that's a killer idea. Not if I ask him first. Ah! 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 I'll get you for this! Oh. <laughs> this is the most useful gadget Daddy's ever bought me. Sabrina? What happened? It's, um... My salute to spring. Uh, listen, Harvey, how'd you like to go try out that new ride at Wowie World tomorrow? Cool. I'd love to go, Sabrina. Great. Uh, except Jem already asked me. Huh? I guess you could come, too, but, well, you and Jem don't exactly, uh, get along. <laughs> Sorry. Consider using some conditioner before going on a date, Sabrina. Oh, that's right. You don't have one. And that's the 85th crummy thing she's done to me. The minute I become a full-fledged witch, I swear I'm turning her into a beanbag for life. A beanbag? Great. That cat bed is for the birds. Hmm. Now there's a tasty idea. Breakfast in bed. You know, Sabrina, there is another way to deal with this. Why not use the opposite approach? Take the high road. You mean leave town? I mean, make friends with Jem. Sure. And after that, why not a little pinochle with Attila the Hun? I don't think so, Aunt Zelda. We're just too different. Trust me. Just try it. Think of something that'll bring the two of you closer together. When people put aside their differences, they can do remarkable things. That's true. Remember the Wright brothers, Zelda? Those guys couldn't stand each other until I helped them patch things up. You mean you put a spell on them to bring them together? Not exactly. They finally buried the hatchet because they both couldn't stand Hilda. Every time they'd ride their bikes to work, she'd chase them on her broomstick. She had a crush on Orville. He was a babe. So they invented the airplane just to get away from her. Not true. Orville had a thing for me. Yeah, a restraining order. Did not. Did too. Did not. Did too. Did not. Did too. Did not. Did too. Not. Did. Not. Did. Not. Did. Not. Did. <sighs> so much for togetherness. Making friends with Jem? Oh, what a revolting idea. On the other hand, it might not hurt to get along with her for just one day. That way I could go along with everyone to Wowie World and make sure Harvey goes on all the rides with me. Everything would be great. So would a beanbag bed. But I don't know. Making friends with that stuck-up, conniving, spoiled Gemini Stone would take... He big magic? <clears throat> you said it. Lucky for you, I still have a few little tricks up my furry sleeve. <laughs> Do cats get hernias? <laughs> Let's see. Thunder, toads, here it is, togetherness. Guaranteed to bring two people close together. You just sprinkle some stuff on Jem and yourself, then say a few words. Gee, I don't know. Casting a spell on myself? Sounds kind of like taking out my own tonsils. Okay, I admit that didn't work out well, but trust me on this. Just hold the pouch. Steady. A pinch of newt sweat. 
Susan of Henbane, Dragon Lint, this and that, and chicken fat, voila! That's it? What do you want, David Copperfield? Just sprinkle a pinch on you and Jem, then recite this incantation. Bingo! Guaranteed togetherness. I don't know. Maybe I better test it out first. Not did. Not did. Did not. Did so. Did not. Did so. Did not. Did so. Did not. Did not. Did not. Be as close as close can be, fast as I say, one, two, three. Oh, come on. How about I buy you dinner at the mall? Only if I get to take you shopping, sister dear. <laughs> wow, this stuff really works. Salem, you're a genius. Ooh. Harvey, over here. Hey, thanks for saving me a seat, Harvey. Huh? Uh, oh, uh, you're welcome. Love your shoes, Spellman. You'll have to give me the name of your thrift store. No problem, Jem. It's right next door to your groomers. Class, in going over yesterday's poetry writing assignments, I was pleased to discover some very promising young poets among you. One poem in particular had imagery worthy of a poet laureate. It better. I paid someone big bucks to write it for me. It was truly remarkable in its mise-en-scene, its glorification of the first person. Say, Spellman, as long as you don't have a date later, why don't you go home and write a poem all about being a loser? <laughs> <gasps> all right, that's it. It's now or never. Class, I would like you all to have a chance. Be as close as close can be. To hear this remarkable poem read by the author. Fast as I say, one, two. Gemini Stone. Me? Ah! Oh, I'm so surprised. Uh-oh. Hey, let go. I, I can't. What do you mean you can't? Spellman, if you don't let go this second. Oh. Oof. I'm telling you, I can't. We're... We're stuck together! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, definitely x file worthy. Stuck together? What are you talking about? And what is this green guck anyway? Uh, must have got it on my arm from science class. Guess it was still tacky. And so are you. Gemini, we're all waiting. Sabrina Spellman, you're just trying to ruin my moment. Well, you're not going to. <laughs> Ow, quit pulling! Keep up! Thank you, Miss Drone On and On. Here, Spellman, make yourself useful. Gemini, you cutie pie, an epic love poem to myself. My eyes are as brown as the silt dark sea, cast down from the heights of destiny. <laughs> This should solve it. I'm getting separation anxiety, Spellman. I want to be separated. No! Relax, will ya? I'm sure this belt, uh, stuff will just wear off by itself. It'll probably be gone by tomorrow. Great, but I have a date with Harvey today. Well, then I guess I'm coming along too. <laughs> Let me get this straight again, muchachas. You're stuck together because of bad chemistry? I don't want to talk about it. Hey, I'm starved. How about some corn dogs? Yuck! I hate corn dogs. I want cotton candy. Ew, how sticky sweet. Oh, what do you know? Whoa. Mmm. Just keep that fluffy glop away from me. Mmm. Don't worry, Spellman. I'm not into sharing. Oh! All right. Won't be long now. Hey, where's Chloe? She's gonna miss the ride. She got bored waiting in line. Mm -hmm. 
She's into cleaning out the park. Hey. Come on, Chloe, we're going in. You go on. I'm setting free the bear. Whoa! Oh, man, that was awesome. Yeah, great. Nothing beats cotton candy up your nose at warp 10. Sabu, let's do it again, dude. Man, it just gets better every time. Yeah, let's go again. Harvey, it's already been six times. Hey, I'm up for a pardon. Of course, if you want to chicken out, Spellman, I guess I'd have to, too. Oh, no. Ugh. I'm up for doing this all day. Unless, of course, you're not. Me? I just love this ride. Great. Da -da -da -da. Are there two of you? If there are, we're both ready to barf. Come on, dudettes. We're going for the park record. Yeah, 26 and counting. Ugh, 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 ugh. Corn dog. Corn dog? Oh, right. We need corn dogs. I thought you hated corn dogs. Me? No. I love them. Yum. All the basic food groups on a stick. Nature's miracle. Gotta have one. But but you might miss the ride. Oh, uh, that's okay. Really, just start without us. Yeah, we could be gone for quite a while. Hey, no prob. We'll still be here riding this monster till closing time, right, dude? Hey! Two corn dogs, please. Hey, Sabrina. Hope you guys are having as much fun as I am. See ya. Good thinking. That was close. Yeah, too close. Harvey and Pyre still looking. Better take a bite. Ugh! Try it with mustard. See, that wasn't so bad. Don't push your luck, Spellman. If I get sick, you're in the line of fire. Hey, there's Chloe. Let's go hang with her. Not till we go on my favorite ride. Come on, boys and girls. the central luge was stomach churning. Do they sing all the time? Don't they ever take a mechanical potty break? Elf, I will make you smile till the day is done. Oh, I just love this place. Oh, what's the punishment for killing an elf in this state? Oh, the diamond mine. Either this place is making me crazy, or this stuff is getting harder. I'd better talk to Salem. Elf, I will make you smile. Come on, Jem. Let's get off this island. I need to use a payphone. Till the day is... And now the goop is getting hard, huh? Hey, I'm sure it's nothing serious. Let's see. Nope, nothing here but a big old catnip stain. Uh-oh. Warning. Oversprinkling can cause severe side effects, which will be permanent. <gasps> permanent? <gasps> Salem, are you saying that Jem and I are going to be attached to each other permanently? Wait, there's more. 
which will be permanent if not reversed within eight hours. See your local witch or warlock immediately. Uh, I guess in this case that's furry little me. Can you figure something out? I'll try. Just be back here before the eight hours is up. No problem. I've got plenty of time. No, you don't. You're on my dime. Hey, I'm not through. Yes, you are. Daddy says my cell phone bills are high enough. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> now look what you did, Spellman. Sorry. Ow. Jen, we've got to get back. I mean it. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm not through yet. Elfo sure is fun. Listen, see how hard this goop is turning? If we don't get it off real soon, it might turn solid and we'd be stuck together forever. But you said it would wear off. Yeah, I know. But what do I know? I just talked to uh, my uncle, and he has some uh, solvent that he thinks might get it off right now. But if we wait much longer... Well, why didn't you say so? The sooner I can get free of you, the better. Elf hater. Fine, we're out of here. This way. <laughs> Wrong. I know this place better than my father's bank balance. <laughs> <gasps> Been to an ATM lately? This way. I should have known better than to listen to you. This way. No, this way. <laughs> oh, great. Nice work, Spellman. You made us miss the boat. Me? Half those wrong turns were yours. I've fallen over every elf on Muddy Critty Isle. Never mind. There's a boat every 20 minutes. <sighs> I can't find the antidote. What am I supposed to do? I'm only a cat. Sabrina, we brought you some Salem. Is there something wrong? Uh, nothing really. I just need a little reverse togetherness spell. Not for me, of course, but... Reverse, reverse togetherness, togetherness spell? Uh, why do you two think you've been so chummy lately? Why don't you stay a while? Elfile will make you smile. Elfile sure is fun. It's been 25 minutes. Where's that boat? Shh. Just look at that little elf. No wonder he's always smiling. He just works all day alongside his teeny tiny papa. No one expects him to dress for success or be the most popular or do anything but make shoes. I know what you mean. My mom's always expected me to get straight A's, to be tops in my class. That is, when she's here. At least your folks are always around. Ferry leaves every 20 minutes. Last boat, 5 p.m. Jam, it's 5.30. That was the last boat back. Perfect. The one you made us miss. I better call my dad. He'll get us out of here. Hey! My new phone! Spellman, this is all your... Hey! This stuff is getting harder. I uh. told you. We need to get off this island and back to my house now. There's no way. It's impossible. Not if we work together. I mean, we got out of Central Luge Ride 26 with a corn dog, didn't we? Come on, give me a hand. We can use this log for a raft. <laughs> Great, a cement log. Well, something on this island has to float. Kick, paddle, kick, paddle, kick, paddle, kick, paddle. Couldn't we have tied them together face down? Kick, paddle, shark. Shark! It can't hurt us, it's just mechanical. Abandon L! <laughs> Jam together, roll left! Yes! Uh, we're not out of here yet, Spellman. Kick! Paddle! <laughs> Made it! Spellman, you look awful. Hey, we're in a lot better shape than the shark. <laughs> <laughs> uh-uh, no way. Sorry, but this is the only thing that'll do the job. Hey, 
do that, or... Okay, on three. One, two, hey! Oh, oh, what happened to three? Spellman, you're gonna hear from my lawyer. Oh, you think I enjoyed it? Not. Hey, we're free! And I hope you two learned that the only way to accomplish anything is to put aside your differences and find out what you have in common. Well, I hate to admit it, but deep down, I kind of like those platform shoes. Yeah, well, that corn dog didn't taste quite as toxic as I thought it would, especially with mustard. That's my limo. You want to borrow some of my clothes? And risk having someone see me in them? As if. <laughs> Guess this friendship thing is going to be harder than I thought. Oh, I don't know. I think you've made a good start. You know, this goop wasn't what freed you. The only real way to break this particular spell is for the two people to learn to cooperate with each other. What? Then why did you need us to jump in that guck? Hey, Hilda's baking a cake. She needed someone to stir the batter. <laughs> Da 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 da